Let's look at how to simplify fractions using board mass. You know, board mass is the acronym that tells you which operator to do before the other. When you have different operators in one expression, which one do you do before the other? Board mass tells you that order. Board mass. Now, many of us know board mass, but we don't know how to apply it. Board mass tells you to do the bracket first. So anyone in the bracket, just like this, you deal with them first. The next one is order or exponent. So if you have something like 2 over 3 squared, this squared is the order or the exponent. Or the square root of 4 over 9. This square root is the order or exponent. The next level is not just division, it's division and multiplication. So if you have division and multiplication, you go from left to right. You go from left to right because they are on the same level. And then the fourth level is addition and subtraction. So we just have four levels. The first one is brackets. The second one is orders exponent. The third one is division and multiplication. The fourth one is addition and subtraction. So likewise, when you have addition and subtraction, you go from left to right. Okay? Now let's... You can pause this video and give this question a try using board mass and see what you get. Assuming you've done that, Let's do it together. So first, we'll deal with the brackets. 3, 2 over 3 plus what's in the bracket is what we are dealing with now. This is 5 over 3 times 3 over 2. Then, you know, when you are dividing fraction, you can simply change the division to multiplication and invert the fraction. So these two will go up and one will come down. Minus 2 over 3. 2 we cancel 2. 3 we cancel 3. So we are left with 5 over 1 which is still 5. So this will be 3. 2 over 3 plus what's in the bracket now is 5. Then this minus 2 over 3. What is 3 whole number 2 over 3 plus 5? Just adding the addition and subtraction are on the same level. So we are going from left to right. 3 whole number 2 over 3 plus 5 is 8 whole number 2 over 3. Then minus 2 over 3. What would this give us? You just subtract the fraction part. And so we have 8 as our answer. I hope you are enjoying this video. Before we do the next example, if you would like to get some of my simplified math videos for free, there should be a link above or below this video. Click on that link and I will send you some of my simplified math videos for free. Click on the link above or below this video and I will send you some of my simplified math videos for free. So we have the second example on the board. We have a bracket, we have a bracket. So we are going to deal with what's inside this bracket and what's inside this bracket first. Adding fractions that have different denominator. What do you do? You make the denominator to be the same so that you can simply add the numerator. How do you make 5 and 3 to have the same denominator? You find the LCM. LCM of 5 and 3 is 15. So I'm going to write 15 here and 15 here. Then, what will I write in the numerator? I'll say 15 divided by 3. 15 divided by 5, that is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. So this 9 over 15 is the same thing as 3 over 5. These are equivalent fractions. Then this one, I'm going to say 15 divided by 3, that is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. Then minus the LCM of 4 and 3 is 12. 
So what will I write in the numerator? 12 divided by 4 is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. 4 divided by 3 is 4. 4 times 1 is 4. Now, you know, when you are adding fractions of the same denominator, you simply add the numerator. So this will be 9 plus 10. 9 plus 10 is 19. It's 19 over 15 minus... This will be 3 plus 4. That is 7 over 12. So what do you get here? Again, the denominators are different. So I'm going to get what will make them the same by looking for the LCM. What is the LCM of 15 and 12? LCM of 15 and 12 is 60. So I'll write 60 here and write 60 here. Then I'll look for what to write at the numerator by saying 60 divided by 15. That is 4. 4 times 19. That will be 76. 60 divided by 12 is 5. 5 times 7 is 35. So what do we have now? 76 minus since the denominator are the same, we simply subtract the numerator. 76 minus 36. That will be 41. And this is in the lowest term because you can't divide any further. So this is the answer to this question is 41 over 60. Did you get 41 over 60? All right. As I said, if you like to get some of my simplified math videos for free, Videos where I make maths simple, friendly, and easy to understand. Click the link above or below this video, and I'll send you some of my videos for free. See you in the next one.